in this tiny break between videos, even though I have the Goblin Tinkerer, I'm going to start up my medium world, because maybe I can find my platinum, maybe I can get corruption, fight another, er, crimson, no, corruption, I was right the first time. Maybe I can get another boss by doing this, so we're going to leave. Single player, pick Dagger Y again, and then we're going to make a new world, medium size. So, expert difficulty, of course, and... I don't remember what I named the first one. Ooh, this is embarrassing. Medium YouTube is what this will be. Medium. Expert. Alright, so we're gonna generate this world, which will take a little bit of time, like the first episode. But, I think this is a good point to do it. I didn't do the dungeon, I can't fight the Brain of Cthulhu, but this gives me a reason to go back from time to time. And I'm kind of trying to look for what this has. And I'm fast enough that I can just jump over things and look to see if this has Crimson or Corruption. And if, if it has Crimson, again, that's okay. I can then fight the brain in this world instead of the other one. I forgot to start my timer, but that doesn't really matter. Um, so I have to find it again. Favorite it so it goes up to the top. And hit play. So, there's going to be some noise around my house right now. That's okay. So, it seems like that chest is here every time. And we already see that this world is infinitely better. It just started with three chests right off the bat. Which, I did bring a bunch of chests and a spiked radar. What does this do? It detects enemies around me. That's interesting. Okay. So, I'm not really interested in these. Wow, this is a lot of chests just by walking in one direction and a free wand of something. I don't know what it does. I'll look at those later. Right now, I'm just scouting the top of the world. So, see if I have Crimson Corruption. This is also easier for me to get that Platinum that I'm missing for my armor, which will allow me to fight bosses more efficiently. I want these bosses. That's something that I do want. Alright. So, a living tree. Dig my way through it. Uh, with a pickaxe, which is really random. Alright. So, I thought I had my smart cursor on. I was wrong. So, desert. It seems that this might be the way that things spawn from now on, is just desert comes before anything else. Which might indicate its difficulty level. Or just be meant as a barrier. So I'm just going to run all the way to the side. I'm not going to run through the oceans to do what I did last time. I'll do those later as I have a couple minutes and need something to do. So there's a chest here. Let's look at it. Nothing super interesting. Not going to go down. So I have a forest in the middle of my desert. So that's interesting. Maybe something's under there. Close my inventory. Sorry about that. Here's my temple. Here's another chest, which I won't check out. Because I want to get through scanning this as soon as possible. So I have a larger forest, and that's nice. I like having large forests. To me, I feel like forests spawn more heart crystals more easily. And they're obviously the easiest place to explore underground. So here's my jungle. It has a similar layout, but I haven't seen Crimson or Corruption yet. And that kind of worries me, because that means it's going to either be only on one side or it's going to take over my jungle which I would rather have them take over my my forests because then I don't have to worry about all right so I have to worry about killing things that's true I'm not super tanky and I can't just run through everything ever so if it takes over my jungle that means I have crimson again okay so, I will be able to fight the brain here as well. I would have to restart my Cthulhu fights. Which now it can just naturally spawn at night. I'm going to still run through here. Scan out everything. Here's a bunch of sunflowers here. And... Then I will run the other way. So here's a living tree. I will go down the living tree. Living tree is so far away this time. Was that? Okay, there's double doors here. That's right. 
Um, I don't need anything from here, so I'll just leave it and I'll come back and forget that I didn't take anything later and... There, final. So accidentally place some torches, get some quick platinum. Oh no, this is iron. Oh, I'm sad now. Alright. So let's do a quick underground scout, stone, this and that. Alright. Recall. Run the other direction. See what's going on this way. See if there's anything cool. Or interesting. So there's a lot of surface water, which I didn't really have a problem with in the other world, which is okay. So, I am not making my world out of, or my house out of wood this time. I'm going to make it sparse and undecorated as last time. That's just something I do. So the medium world, obviously it'll have bigger biomes, it'll have larger range. Alright. So, because of all this water, I'm not able to use my Hermes boots as effectively, and they're not activating off of my sprint anymore, which I find annoying. There we go. So, I took some damage. The Crimson is inside my ice biome. That's okay. This looks like my spot side again to fight the brain when I'm ready for that, which I'm not, obviously. I wish I could have more Eye of Cthulhu spawners, so I could just farm the Eye of Cthulhu. And that's that would be really useful, because I can handle the Eye. I could maybe handle two in a night, even. Alright, this not activating my Hermes boots right away is really irritating me, and I don't know if it's... I don't know why it's doing that. It bothers me. Alright, so off I go. Finish exploring this. Tap over. So I'm still far away from the edge. Alright, use the dash. Seems like this generation is a lot more common. Heal. Or 50. I don't understand how heals work in this game. Oh, that's right, because I don't have any 100 heals anymore. Okay. And here is my ocean. Which, did I get my ocean on the other side? No. I just gave up at the living tree. Well, that's interesting. Actually, this isn't even my ocean. This is just a really weird thing to do. Oh, I realized that I said I would look at flying islands, and I didn't. And I'll do that in this world. It'll be harder to find, but that's okay. I leave all of the cool things for the medium-sized world, and then I leave all of the really cool hard-mode things for the large world. So. Let's see if I have... Ooh, I have a really bad generation for this, because if I go much farther, I'm checking the books again for... Spells. There. So I got a water bolt. I don't need to go any farther. Dungeon Guardian doesn't need to be mad at me. Sometimes it's working the dash to get my Hermes boots activated, and sometimes it's not. I'm really irritated about this. Ooh, I tried latching, and I guess I latched right at the last wrong second. So, here is not my ocean. Alright, here's another desert. And this and that. This is just going to be kind of a transition video. And this and that. And what is... He's sleeping in the water. That's interesting. Okay. So I found him. He's always been on that side for me in any of the worlds that I've ever created. Okay, so. Go back with the ice mirror. Look up here, look at my map, find out where I would like to place my housing, and I think I want to place it up here, above this water pond. That's okay. So, we'll see what I mean. I need... I don't need more platforms. I'm good on platforms. Alright, up we go. Up. 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 Okay. So, I have these gray bricks. So, 
I want to put this out far enough that something can't jump to it. But I can still jump to it. Okay, so this should be good. Want to destroy this. And I think I have a sneaky way to do this. I'm gonna destroy these last two. And two more. So if I can can I chain yes, I can chain to that. But I can't chain to that. Okay, I can. But it's difficult, so I'm gonna put it back too. I'm gonna make a wall. And then I'm going to move it forward one. And this will be a grapple wall for me to sit on. Okay, so that's the way in. So I'm going to space this. This isn't my main door. I'll have kind of a buffer zone. No, I won't. This will be my main door. I don't have any doors. I don't have anything like that. But I have a bunch of chests. So that's the thing that I do have. Alright, I forgot what I was doing for a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven down. Alright, so there's the size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's the close. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I did 11. That's proper. Alright, so, double check that I have 10 wide here by doing it with platforms. So I should go to 22. And indeed I do, so my house is good. I'll build it through the night. And in this one, I will use ice torches. So I will make everything a little bit different, every world, if I can. So ice torches, ice torches. I have things that I want, but don't have. I, I know things that I want, but don't have the ability to make right now. So we'll do this. We'll go over. So, I won't have the Goblin Tinkerer here, which is unfortunate, but I can always go back and forth between worlds and I can do that on my own time and just show you what I did, and watching me reforge stuff is really boring and takes a long time. So I have four rooms, I need at least six, but I'm going to spend a bit more time in the medium, so I might as well make more. Might as well make as many as possible. So, let's see what I can do. Do I want to make 10? Let's make 10. Let's settle for 10. And I will be putting platforms between everything that will make this easier to navigate once I get ways to navigate. Or once I get uh, doors and stuff in place. And this is kind of just how I build my house. Simple. It's a tower. It flies, so it's safe from crimson corruption or lots of monsters, especially from invasions, which always go near my spawn, and because I always build my house around my spawn, it's kind of a downside for having invasions, and my dinosaur is stuck inside the wall, so I think I'm at two, or one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So, okay, so I'm at twelve houses already. So I can make a few more platform sets. And these I can't make gapped to make it easier. But now I turn everything into walls, which I can't do here. So the reasonable thing to do would be to just say, here's the framework for my house and leave it at that, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to look at my map, I'm going to see where I can explore, and I'm going to go straight down over here. I 
can still jump out of this. I can go down here and fall and save myself. Alright, so now I'm looking for platinum and other things. Of course, this didn't have it anywhere. Why would it? Why would anything ever be easy for me? I didn't see another temple on the other side. That's interesting. It must be buried a little better. So my guide is down here, which leads me to believe this is farther down. Or not. My guide's just an idiot. Is that platinum or iron? I can't tell, so I'm just gonna drown my guide. Joe, no, that's just plain stone. Alright. Joe might die to drowning. I don't know if that's a thing. It might be. He has bubbles above his head, but that's okay. I don't care about my guide. So, all of these chests are really nice. And the fact that I will have a chest supply when I move to my large world. Which, we see that I gathered enough chests to be able to move to my small world, or my medium world from my small world quite easily. I'm just looking for an easy way down. That's all. And I found one in the desert, and I don't want to be in the desert. Alright, so I will start digging down. So the first thing I want to do, really, is hope that when I go back to my small world, I'll show reforging the first time, and I might do that now, actually. Yeah, let's do that now. So, exit. Start up my things. Go up to small YouTube, and go up to my Super Sky house. Alright, up we go. Hopefully my goblin tinker is here and he's not. So he's all the way over here still. That's unfortunate. I didn't give him enough time to spawn around. So I can quick stack things. Make it a little easier. I crafted some potions. And we saw that in the medium world I got this water bolt spell. So water bolt's really nice because it's my first magic. And it's not bad. It bounces... And this is good for setting up arenas and trapping bosses. So the other thing that I want to do while I'm here is make walls. I want gray walls, gray brick walls for my house. And I want all of the gray brick walls. Sorry, again, headband problems. All right, I have all of the gray brick walls. I also have 11 spare gray bricks, meaningless. Alright, so, in theory, if I do this, I run all the way over here, I get far enough away, it should allow for the Goblin Tinkerer to spawn, so I will give it the rest of this 20 minute video for it to do that. And then I will fully make the transition over to the other world, off camera, and kind of do it like I did when I made the house the first time, and just show off what I did. Because it's going to take me a while, unless I make a really long video, and I don't want to make it three 20-minute videos of me making a house. And I want to check my map to see if the Goblin Tinker is there yet, and he's not, because he sucks at everything he does. So I want to run to the ocean, see if he does this. He should... I think this is how it works. I wish it did. The other thing I could have done is use gravitation potions and search for sky islands, which can give me balloons, which I can get the Tinker's table and rocket boots and start merging stuff, which is something I really want to do. I want to do that sooner rather than later, which is a good thing that I have enough gold to do fun things like that. And they're really necessary to progress in the game. You can't get very far. You only have so many accessories and the Ankh shield that I've been talking about that I have a few pieces to right now. One, at least. Or two. I think two. Definitely one. Um, I can only make if I have the Tinkerer's thing. I'm going to explore down into this crimson because why not? I have two minutes. What's down here? Lots of altars. So this would be where I get my hard mode ores from. Which the other crimson didn't have that much. So this must be my main crimson. And that's the, the extra crimson on the other side. So there would be a good place to start a Cthulhu fight. Just 
throw a bunch of things down there and then run with my life. Which I'm not going to. Here would be another decent one. Alright, check my map really quick to see if the Goblin Tinker is over here. He's not because he sucks. Alright, maybe he'll move while I'm off camera and I can show off what he does later. Alright, so I want to use my Ice Sword to give me sight, but so does the Water Bolt. And the Water Bolt does damage. So does my Ice Bolt, but... This thing's so fun, it pierces... So this will help me fight the Brain, actually, if I set up an arena properly, and even if I don't, it's just... bouncy. And that's fun. And I have maximum mana that I can have. So that's good. Alright, my sword doesn't cost me mana to use, and I'm about out of time for this video, so I just want to explore this final pit. Lock these blood crawlers out of attacking me, and see where this goes. Ow. Alright, so teleport back, see if he's there. He won't be, I know he won't be. Yeah, he's not here. Because he sucks. And my buildings might be full. No, I moved him here. I remember this. He lives here now. Alright, so that'll be it for this video. In the meantime, I'm going to start transferring things over to the medium world, which means that I'll need to get my houses set up. I'll need to have so many explosives and a gun. And I already have a gun. I have explosives. And I have health crystals, so the nurse will spawn. And basically, everybody but the goblin tinkerer that I have here will be easily transferred over It'll just take a little bit of time. So, until next time, see you then. I'll be back.